Okay, so we should be good to go on Facebook. So welcome, everybody. Welcome to this prayer meeting this morning. Um, normally speaking, we have other people join. Um, just a reminder, as I say, as part of the protocol, if we can keep ourselves on mute for the best part of the prayer meeting, um, just as and when um, you're invited to pray, then feel free to open your mic and pray. Um, but as I say, we do have a format. Um, we start off with Psalm 45. Um, oh, we, we start off with Psalm 45. Um, and from that Psalm, we will pick out some prayer points. Um, <clears throat> and also, um, after those, we do that. I say we do Psalm 45 for about 10 minutes or so. Um, and then, um, sorry, I've just still muted one or two people. We do uh, Psalm 45, we pray over that for um, 10, 15 minutes or so. We have a little bit of teaching of which John Benson has given us a teaching this morning. And again, 10, 15 minutes of that of which we will pray over. And then the bulk of the rest of the meeting is set up for the intercessionary prayers. As I got a lot of lot of prayers this, um, this morning, probably well over 50 um, prayers that have come my way during the week. So we will pray. We will pray over those um, in the sort of second half of the meeting. That's kind of how we do it. Um, let's just have a quick look at chat before I get started, just to make sure we've um, picked up um, everything. So yeah. Um, okay. So so I'm just letting somebody else in. Um, before we get started on Psalm um, 45, though, I am reminded that um, the one thing we should always include in our prayer meetings is the Lord's Prayer, the prayer that uh, uh, our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ taught us to pray. Um, so before we get started, we will start off with the Lord's Prayer. So, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Okay. I'll just, uh, just remind people, I know people as they sort of join, um, probably might be unmute some and try and uh, try and mute them as we go. Um, but um, let's start off with Psalm 45 then. So let's bring that up on the screen. So Psalm 45. <laughs> it says, my... What is that, brother? What, who is that? Sorry, say it again. Sorry, sorry. Uh, what's the number of Psalm chapter? 45. Scripture? 45. 45. Just only for. Bring it up again. Okay, so yeah, Psalm 45. My heart is stirred by a noble theme. As I recite my verses, <laughs> sorry, as I recite my verses for the king, my tongue is the pen of a skillful writer. You are the most excellent of men and your lips have been anointed with grace since God has blessed you forever. Gird your sword on your side, you mighty one. Clothe yourselves with splendour and majesty. In your majesty, ride forth victoriously in the cause of truth, humility and justice. Let your right hand achieve awesome deeds. Let your sharp arrows pierce the hearts of the king's enemies that the nations fall beneath your feet. Your throne, O God, will last forever and ever. A scepter of justice will be the, be the scepter of your kingdom. You love righteousness and hate wickedness. Therefore, God, your God, has let, set you above your companions by anointing you with oil of joy. All your robes are fragrant <clears throat> with myrrh and alloys. And, and cassia from palaces adorned with ivory the music of the th of the strings make you glad just one second let's just admitting a couple of more people so 
verse 9 daughters of kings are among you your honored women at your right hand is the royal bride in gold of opia listen daughters and pay careful attention forget your people and your father's house let the king be enthralled by your beauty honor him for he is your lord the city of tyre will come with a gift people of wealth will seek your favor all, glor all glorious is the princess within her chamber. Her gown is interwoven with gold. In embroidered garments, she is led to the king. Her virgin companions follow her. Those brought, brought to, to be with her. Led in with joy and gladness, they enter the palace to the, of the king. Your sons will take the place of your fathers. <coughs> you will make them princes throughout the land. I will perpetuate your memory through all generations. Therefore, the nations will praise you forever and ever. As I say, it's um, uh, in many ways, I mean, as we sort of saw at the beginning, this the writer of this particular psalm had written this um, for a king. But um, I, I take this um, as a psalm that we can use to um, for our king, our father in heaven. And so I use this psalm, as I say, to, um, to honour our Father in heaven, our King. So I pick out some, um, I pick out some uh, passages from this, and we start off with uh, verse six: "Your throne, O God, will last forever and ever. A scepter of justice will be the scepter of your kingdom." So we look at that one, and we um, we honour our Father with that one, because at the end of the day. Our Father is the glorious Father in heaven. He is the King of Kings, Lord of Lords, and so we we pray for that. We pray for that. We honour you, Father. So, Father, yes, we do honour you. We bring to you our prayers today, prayers of um, prayers of intercession, but also prayers of praise and glory for you, Father, because you are our mighty God. You are our King, King of Kings, Lord of Lords. That we so honour you, honour you always, Lord. And we look up to you, Lord, because you have, you ha are our creator. You have given us another day, Father, for which we are so grateful. And I um, thank you, Lord, that we have got uh, another day in which to honour and praise you, Lord, and to do your work, because you are the, you are the Most High, and we are servants of yours. And we thank you, Lord, for another day. And we thank you, Father, for your creation. I say this week upon week that uh, you have created the universe from the expanse of it to the tiniest of atoms and it's awesome and mind-blowing to think that of all that is in this universe and as human beings we we probably don't know even a minute part of it but you have created it all and yet somewhere lord we sit in between we sit in between the the expanse of the universe and the tiniest of atoms but you love us lord you, you love us all you have given us you have given us dominion over this world. Not that we, not that we necessarily do very good by that, but um, you have given us that dominion, as you say, Lord, um, in in the creation story in in Genesis one, that you have given uh, given man dominion over the over your creation. And yes, Father, we have messed it up badly at times, but we thank you, Lord, for that creation. We thank you that we sit somewhere between. We are. <laughs> we are your love, uh, uh, beloved children of, of you, Lord, God, uh, children of God, and we thank you for that. And we thank you, Lord, that you know every single hair on our head. You, <clears throat> you have numbered them, Lord, and you know them. I mean, that's just an amazing thought, um, which is mind-blowing for us. It's just beyond our belief. But you have done this, Lord. You have created this. You are our glorious Father. So we thank you, Lord, for, for your creation. We thank you for what you have done for us. We thank you for another day. We also thank you, Father, for your son, Jesus Christ, the sacrifice that he has made for us. So, Father, we just uh, honour you, Lord, with this prayer. and We hold this prayer up to you in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ. Amen. And so we, we were looking at, we've been looking at Psalm 45. And um, particularly that particular point of praying over verse six, your throne, O God, will last forever and ever. The scepter of justice will be the scepter of your kingdom. That particular, um, that particular 
verse we've been praying over. So if anybody wants to pray over that, um, please feel free to open your mic and pray. Yes, I need to pray. Please do. I'm willing to pray. Yep. Okay, George, please pray. Where's my mic? You can unmute me so that I can pray. Yeah, you are you are muted. You are muted. Okay, Please let's pray. pray. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I come before you. I thank you, Lord, for uh, this group. I thank you for everyone that is in this group. I thank you for our leader. I thank you for all the pastors. I thank you for all the nations. Father, may you bless us. May you stand with us, Lord. Bless each and every one of us. Bless our families. Bless our ministries. Bless our leaders, oh, my Father. It is the desire of our hearts, my Father, that you may move with us. In the book of Matthew 7, 7, the Bible says that we ask, when we ask, we receive. When we knock, the door shall be open. When we seek, we shall find. Father, this is the time and the moment that your people are looking for you, my Father. We have a greater vision, Father, for this group, for this family, my God. Let your name be exalted, be magnified. Father, even as we continue, may you be with us, oh my God. May you stand with us. May you bless us. In the name of Jesus Christ, I do pray and believe. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, uh, George. I think, um, uh, okay, Gold Farm, your mic is open. Do you want to pray? Yes. <clears throat> our Heavenly Father, our Lord, our God, all the majesty and all the glory and all the plunder and all the worship for you and for your Son, your son crucified on the cross for us. Always he give us living water. He say, come to me. I will give you living water and I will give you freely. Jesus, you touch me and give me blessing and increase my ministry work. And Jesus, I attend the two seminar and I receive the blessing. I hope. My two family member laws, they are asleep in you and you give us the comfort and you are our Lord and you are our counselor. Jesus, please give me more blessed and touch our elder brother, Terry. He always arranged a, a council of saints. He loved to us. He cared to us. And same Jesus, you touch to him and increase wisdom of our brother and increase the uh, ministry work of our brother. And Jesus, please increase our member in the Zoom meeting. Jesus, please give me wisdom. Jesus, please give me knowledge. Jesus, teach me more Bible study. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. 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 Okay, um, David Louise, I, I think you wanted to pray. Do you want to pray, David Louise? Yes, sir. Heavenly Father, we thank you for today. Eternal Rock of Ages, we give you all the glory, magnify your name for Jerry, not like you. You are the great king, you are the ruler of the universe. You made us in, uh, in your image, you made us in your likeness. Eternal Rock of Ages, it pleases you this hour that we will gather to commune with you. It pleases you this hour that we will gather to receive from you. Ancient of days, you are mighty. You are powerful. You are the great king. You remain the same from everlasting to everlasting. Eternal rock of ages, your throne is forever. Mighty and everlasting father, no one can displace you from your position. You remain who you are from ages to ages, from everlasting to everlasting. Mighty and everlasting father, you are righteous. You are holy, you are pure, you are perfect in your ways. There is none to be compared with you. Father, we are grateful to you. We are grateful to have you as our Father. You are so loving, you are so kind, you are so merciful. Father, we give you all the glory. We worship you. We thank you for the gift of your son, Jesus Christ. We thank you, Father, for all that you have given us. We thank you, Father, for all that you are doing in our lives. We thank you for all that you are doing through us. We thank you for all that you are about to do. Father, we are so grateful to you. We magnify your name, everlasting Father. We magnify your name, the great king of the universe. Receive all our glory, receive all the honor, receive our praise this morning. 
We thank you for the gift of life. We thank you. We thank you, Father. We thank you for another weekend. We thank you, Father. You have been the one present from the very beginning of this week to the, the, this very moment. Father, we are so grateful to you for all that you are doing for us. Thank you for all the battles that you have fought for us. Thank you for giving us victory. Thank you for your provision. Thank you for your guidance. Thank you for your word, your revelation to us. We are grateful to you. We honor you, Father. We give you all the glory now and forevermore. In Jesus' mighty name, I have prayed. Amen. Amen. Thank you, David. Um, John, I'm not, uh, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna. All right, David. David Biz was you're, you're there. Did you want to pray? David Biswas, I see your mic is open. Did you want to pray? David, I see your mic's open. Yes. Yeah, do you yes, want to brother? pray? You, you, you'd like pray. to pray? Yeah, please pray. Okay, okay, brother. Okay. Let's pray. Uh, thank you, God, for the uh, life. Thank you, God, for the... Uh, son, thank you oh, for um, uh, all things. Uh, uh, oh God, uh, please pray for my uh, family and uh, brother Norrington and all member. Uh, blessing, uh, blessing, uh, God and uh, uh, more and more. Uh, oh, oh God, uh, please, uh, please uh, help me and my life and all brother and sister. Uh, tease, tease them. Um, oh God, uh, please, uh, please, uh, please uh, forgive me. Uh, give me blessing and blessing and all members, uh, all members, blessing more and more. Uh, Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, David. I'm gonna. Um, uh, I'm conscious of the time because as I say we've got a lot of um, uh, intercessory prayers to get through a bit later. So I'm conscious of the time. So. Um, I'm going to hand over to um, to John now. John, are you there? Um, John would be doing our teaching for today. I just, we'll just ask if people can keep themselves on mute, um, just so we don't have the background noise. That would be great. But I hand over to you, John. Okay, I'm here. Okay, good morning, everybody, or maybe afternoon, <laughs> some places. Um, let us start with prayer. Heavenly Father, we come to you. And the name above all names, the Lord of Lord and King of Kings, Jesus Christ. We thank you that we have the freedom to meet today and to learn from your word and learn from one another. And we are privileged to be able to pray to you, Lord God, because you are our creator and you loved us so much that G Jesus came to earth and died for us on the cross to give us salvation. Amen. Right. The subject today is going to be John chapter 3. Um, I hope you're all very familiar with it. It's a passage um, where Jesus repeats a number of times to Nic Nicodemus, you must be born again. He, he said it in uh, John 3.3, 3, again in 3.5, again in 3.7. Uh, also, he, 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 he said that the Holy Spirit is like the wind. Uh, you don't know where it's coming from or where it's going to go. Um, you know, uh, obviously, we're a bit better now with modern technology, but certainly in that time, they didn't really know much about how the weather happens and all the rest of it. But what my concern is, is how do we know if a person is actually born again? Or how do we know that we ourselves are actually born again? How, how do you? Uh, clarify that in a person's life or in our own life. Now, in John chapter 10, verse 27, Jesus said, my sheep hear my voice. Now, what that means, um, it's not that, you know, every, every minute you're hearing Jesus talking to you. What it actually means is that you've heard his voice and you've come to him. The Holy Spirit has helped you, enabled us to understand the gospel. We understand who Jesus is, that he's the eternal son and word of God. And 
all the rest of the teachings that has come through the Bible, the virgin birth and his perfect life and death and resurrection. And a lot of people today often talk about miracles. We need miracles. We need miracles. We want to see signs and wonders and miracles. But to me, the greatest miracle is actually to become a born again Christian. Because it's the only miracle that you can possibly have that is eternal. When we're born again of the Holy Spirit, because we believe the Bible, we've heard the voice of Jesus calling us, we've come to him humbly, confess that we are in fact a sinner, we understand that we're a sinner, perhaps some of us have been bigger sinners than others, but it doesn't matter, uh, even one small sin will keep us out of heaven, we've confessed and not acknowledge that we're a sinner. We confess and acknowledge that God is holy and pure and perfect. And when it comes to the new heaven and the new earth that we read about in Revelation chapter 20, there is nothing we can possibly do that would make us good enough to be acceptable to God and the new earth and the new heaven. So we have to accept the gift of salvation which is grace given at the cross and we come to it in faith and the reason we've come to it in faith is because the holy spirit has stirred us up the holy spirit has given us that gift of faith that helps us to believe in god helps us to hear christ's voice and we come a child of god john chapter 1 verse 12 says we are adopted children of almighty god that's our position as born again christians and i think i've said it before we are part of the greatest family on earth there are millions and millions hundreds of millions of us on earth today that are born again christians and of course when we go back through history there are hundreds of millions of other people that are born again christians they are all our brothers and sisters in christ they're all christians for one reason and one reason only and that is because they believe the gospel the good news that Christ died for them, and they've accepted that, and they've come to know that. One of the things that concerns me a little bit is the fact that an awful lot of people today have a wrong understanding of who the real Jesus Christ is. Um, there's a great deal of cults. There's a lot of them without naming them. Naming them. And, and, of course, you've got things like Islam who will tell you um, they have Jesus too, but it's not the Jesus of the Bible. It's a very different Jesus. They call him Iser. Um, It's just a fictional character that they're talking about. There are some similarities. They've got a few things right, but most of it is very wrong. So we have to be careful to know that we study the word enough to know the real Jesus. And when we're talking to other people, uh, one thing I do a lot is ask other people, the question, if you die today, would you go to heaven and why? Or you can phrase that question in, in different ways. What is salvation? Uh, how do you know you're going to go to heaven? And that is an opening for that person to explain to you what they believe. Um, Jesus said, you know, out of the heart, the mouth speaks. Peter wrote, always be willing to give the reason for the hope in you. And every Christian, the hope in us is the cross. The hope we have in eternal life, the only eternal miracle is the cross. It's the cross, it's the death, resurrection of Jesus that gives us this eternal life. And that's what we have to hold on to. Another quick thing I would say about miracles, people are always um, sort of asking for miracles. But I would say that the one thing that's better than having a miracle is actually not needing one. Uh, if you're pretty fit and healthy, you don't need a miracle of healing. If you have a bit of money in the bank and you're paying your bills, you don't need what some would call a financial miracle. So being blessed, having a blessed life where your family is all getting on well, you have enough money to live reasonably, um, you're physically fit and able to get around and, and you're not having any problems, then that is a real blessing. 
And that is the sort of way we should all be living. I know it's it's not true for all of us on this group today, because there are a great deal of difficulties that, that we can have. Certainly um, in other countries like India, Pakistan, Africa, it is much harder financially and in other ways. Um, and also we're aware of the persecution that Christians get all over the world. Anyway, I hope this has been helpful. Um, and I just pray God bless you all. And uh, I'm sure we'll continue with the prayers and we'll meet again. Next okay. Thank you, John. <clears throat> yeah, we, uh, we, uh, John referred to um, uh, John chapter three. And within that, so, so as John says, there's various um, mentions of being reborn. Um, I also refer to John um, 316 many, many times, which is very, very um, often quoted. Um, God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son, that who shall ever believe in him will not perish, but have eternal life. And to me, that's kind of the foundation of Christianity. That's where we that's where we sort of start from, because we believe in Jesus Christ. So and, and that's what helps us to be reborn. So, Father, we just thank thank you, Lord, for your son, Jesus Christ, for the wonderful sacrifice he made for, made for us. We do, Father, pray that, uh, or thank you, Father, for that sacrifice, um, as much as it's almost game mind-blowing to understand why anybody would actually want to do that for us, but your son did, and for that, Lord, we, we gain salvation. We, <laughs> we know, Lord, that because we believe in that and because we um, are reborn again, that... Um, our sins are forgiven and that your son was the ultimate sacrifice and we thank you for that lord we thank you for that and we thank you father that we we are able to be reborn and that we do live our lives with with your son jesus christ in our lives with the holy spirit dwelling dwelling within us and we thank you for that lord we thank you lord for for your amazing grace may lord we continue to serve you and be your servants and particularly, Lord, as we come to our intercessionary prayers, Lord, um, we will have a time of prayer for the various ministries that are both represented here and for other people who have asked for their ministries to be prayed for. Um, because we, we do serve you, Lord. We are um, ministering to the people and we are, uh, we are um, shining your or attempting to shine your glory, Lord, in various parts of the world um, for which we see many representations here today. So, Father, we thank you, Lord. For, we thank you, Lord, for your um, um, for your glory. We thank you, Lord, that we are able to live our lives um, serving you and living our lives with the Holy Spirit dwelling in us. And we thank you, Lord, for the sacrifice of your son, Jesus Christ. We hold that all up to you in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Did anybody else want to pray over what John's just been talking about? Um, before we move on to um, our intercessionary prayers. So we have got a lot of prayers this morning, so um, I will have to rattle through them in a bit, but I just opened the mic for anybody to uh, want to pray over what John said before we move on. Okay. As I say, we come to our time of intercessionary prayer. Um, we pray for, for nations, which will be the, our first part. Um, but then we pray for um, healing. We pray for people's situations and finances. And we pray for um, for the ministries as well, whether they're represented here or, or the other ministries that have, I'm connected with that have asked for particular prayer requests. Um, but we start off with the prayers for the nations. So, Father, we do bring before you the various nations of the world, particularly where there is conflict and where there is war. So we hold these nations up to you in the mighty name of your, <coughs> of your son, Jesus Christ. So, Father, first of all, Lord, we know the situation in Ukraine uh, with the war going on there. Uh, and that seems to be uh, there seems to be headlines coming out um, week by week, day by day, almost um, of what's going on there. Um, but Father, ultimately, we pray for peace. We pray for peace in Ukraine. We pray for peace in um, peace in that particular part of the world. That the leaders there will be able to come together and negotiate peace for the for the love of their people. And the word love is really, Father, what we 
we, we really need to emphasize because there seems to be some very hard hearted um hard hearted hearts there lord um but hearts of stone where people are, where the leaders just seem to be um determined to actually uh, exercise their will and not think of love we know lord that you are the image of love you are our mighty father um who loves us all and it's your love that we dearly love to be shining in that part of world the world so we ask you lord to open up the hearts of those leaders um in in ukraine uh, in russia particularly in russia lord but to uh, other leaders, Lord, who might be able to step in and help to negotiate that peace. So, Father, we we hold those people, um, we hold those leaders up to you, Lord, that they are able to to soften their hearts and to know your love and to be able to express that love by negotiating the peace. So, in Ukraine and Russia, Lord, we particularly ask for that. Also, with the same, Lord, with uh, Israel and um, and the Gaza and with ha Hamas, Lord. Uh, we know the tensions and the conflict that is going on there. And again, we just ask, Lord, that uh, hearts be opened, that your love can shine through these people's hearts and that peace can be negotiated and that we can have um, peace in that particular part of the world. And <laughs> it is very, very difficult, um, uh, you know, area. It's very difficult um, uh, place. We know, Lord, that it said that... Um, History has shown that peace has not been able to be um, be had there. But Father, history doesn't have to be repeated. We know. We know that um, history can, you know, the course of history, the course of the future can change and that we can have peace. So if it is, is their desire, Lord, if the power of love can overcome the love of power, then we know we will have peace there. So again, Lord, we hold um, uh, Gaza and Israel up to you, Lord so that peace can reign in that particular area and peace can reign in the whole of the Middle East. We hold that up to you, Lord, in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ. Um, we have also, in I know, Lord, in um, Dem Democratic Republic of Congo, that we have, um, we have civil unrest there. It's a civil war. Um, uh, so we ask you, Father, <coughs> Uh, so we ask you, Father, that um, that peace can reign there. And again, the factions there that uh, are, are fighting, that they can come together and negotiate peace and they can have love. Because we know, Father, that um, in that particular part of the world, um, there are many people who are suffering because of the conflict. They have no food. They have no um, shelter. They have lost, lost their livelihoods. So, Father, we hold them up to you, Lord. Firstly, that peace can reign in the Democratic Republic of Congo, but also, Father, that um, um, that these people can um, re-establish their, their lives, their livelihoods, their homes, um, and their relationship with you, Father. So we hold the Democratic Republic of Congo up to you in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ. And Father, I mean, the areas of the world where it's so, so difficult to be Christian, and we have some of those people representing those those areas here online today, Lord. We know like in, in Pakistan and India, it is very, very difficult to be Christian there. It is very difficult to, to spread your word and to shine your light. So we hold those areas up to you in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ, that these, um, these areas uh, can open themselves up to, being, to hearing your word, to hearing what your servants say in your name that these these um uh, these great servants of yours can reap a harvest for you in those particular parts of the world so we hold pakistan up to you lord we hold india up to you that these areas can actually have um have the opportunity to speak about you and to be able to speak you um with with freedom without any fear of actually being persecuted or imprisoned lord for for what they have to say so, Father, we hold Pakistan and India up to you, Lord, but all the areas that are um, uh, do not have the opportunity to hear your word. So, Father, we hold them up to you in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ. And if anybody else wants to pray for the nations that we've prayed for or, um, or any other nations that they particularly want to pray for, please feel free to open your mics.
Yes, I want to play. Let's play Eastern Georgia. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, according to the book of uh, 2 Chronicles 7, 14, you say that if my poor people by my name shall humble themselves and pray and turn away from their kid way, you shall heal them and you shall heal them and heal their land. I ask upon Father to bless all nations, bless America, bless Africa, bless Europe, bless Asia, bless pastors, bless their family, bless their children. Father, provide for us all the needs. I know pastors are struggling. Their families are struggling. Their ministers are struggling. Father, provide resources. Bring unity among brethren. I know that you, my Father, who can bring us together according to your word because whatever purpose that you have, you shall fulfill, oh my God. All our leaders in U.S., wherever they are, bless them, oh my Father. I know the burden is so heavy in their life, in their shoulder, my Father, but you will help them, oh my God. Bring unity, bring understanding. Even as our pastor is trying to unite us together and to establish a organization, Father, I know it's you, you the one who can provide the resources that are required. You can help us, my Father, in our challenges. Every ministry that is struggling, every nation that is struggling, the nation that are passing through war, Haiti, my Father, every nation, Father, even the Pakistan nation, so oh my God, whatever they are going through, you can help them, you can help them to overcome. I thank God I bless you because you are faithful. In the name of the Christ, I pray and believe. Amen. Amen. Thank you, George. Okay. Um, we continue praying now. As I say, we've got a lot of um, intercessory prayers to go through. So we um, we pray for, for those who are sick. We pray for those who are needing healing. And first off, Father, I bring to you a prayer request from our friend here in England called Philip. Um, prayers for um, his wife, Bev. Um, so we hold her up to you, Lord. We know she's had many issues, um, including uh, fibromyalgia. Um we hold her up to you, Lord, for her healing. Ideally, Lord, we would love her to be um, to be healed. But um, through the work of um, doctors and nurses and uh, our NHS system, um, they are finding um, more and more uh, of what's wrong with her. And they want to be able to thank you, Lord, that um, it, just, it does seem to be progress in um, the diagnosis for her particular conditions. So, Father, we thank you for that. We thank you, Lord. Ultimately, Lord, we ask you to place your healing hands upon her and make her well and bring her back to full health, Lord, and that she can shine your glory by by witnessing to you that you are the one that have been able to heal her. So we hold her up to you, Lord, in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ. Likewise, Philip has asked for prayers for a lady called Carrie, um, who's got a brain tumour. Um, and we, we ask again, Lord, for, for healing, for her healing, that she be healed that you place your healing hands upon her and that again, she can know your your loving presence and that she can be healed. Both her and her husband, um, uh, Colin, are great believers in you, Lord. They are great servants of yours. So we ask you, Lord, to honour them, Lord, and, and help um, Carrie to be healed of this particular brain tumour. So we ask that in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ. Um, Brian. Um, is sick and coughing, fever and vomiting. So, Father, we hold Brian up to you, Lord, in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ, that he be freed from this, this fever, that he is healed from the fever and the fever is gone and that he knows, Lord, that it is through you and your love that he has been healed. May you hold, may you hold him in your arms, Lord, and let him know that you are with him and that you have cured him from this particular fever, Lord. So may that fever rise from him and be gone in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ. Jaden Biden, um, his two children are sick. Doesn't say what their sickness is, but uh, Brighton and um, um, Belston, I think their name are, um, Lord, we hold them up to you. Brighton and Belston, Lord, up to you. For whatever their illness is, Lord, that um, you heal them. And again, that they know through it's your glory, through your glory that you have healed them. So whatever their illnesses are, Lord, in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ, may they be healed. Um, someone who goes by the name of Brown V um, has dislocated his wrist. So, Father, we ask you, Lord, that uh, that be healed, that uh, that wrist can be manoeuvred back into the right place and that he be healed. And that again, he knows it's through your glory that he has been healed. Um, Brown also asked for um, 
uh, prayers for his mother who's suffering with her eyes. So, Father, we, um, again, not entirely sure what that particular issue is with her eyes, but may, may she be healed. May she be healed in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ, and that uh, her eyes be better and that she has no problems with her um, with her sight, that she will not be visually impaired, that she will know your, your blessing with, with perfect sight. So we hold Brown's um, mother up to you in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ, for healing. Um, Robert Berry, we pray for him most weeks uh, in Chicago, in America. Um, has all sorts of different he uh, health issues, uh, breathing, uh, heart problems, um, uh, blood pressure. But a lot of this probably stems from the fact that he had to have an operation on his brain many years ago. But Father, again, we just ask for healing for Robert and that he knows your your love and your concerns for him and that um, that his health is in your control and that he knows, Lord, that he can turn to you and that he will be healed in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ. Um, Kainat Reyes, um, stomach problems. Again, Father, uh, you know the, the cause of these pains in her stomach. And we ask you, Lord, to be able to heal her. Again, a mighty servant of yours, in particularly that um, part in, in Pakistan where it's difficult to be um, a Christian. But Lord, may those uh, stomach pains go. May she be released from those pains, and that she knows that it's through your, through you, Lord, through your Son Jesus Christ, that she's being healed. And this will be for for your glory, and that she will be able to to witness for you, Lord, to proclaim your name, that you are the one that have healed her. So we hold her up to you, Lord, in the mighty name of your Son Jesus Christ. Um, Wizzy Brown has some stomach wounds after an operation. Father, we ask you, Lord, that these wounds can be healed, that there's no infection there, and that these heal, wounds heal perfectly. You know the reason that he needed the operation, Lord, but we just pray, Lord, that these wounds um, are healed and that he is perfectly healed, Lord, that he has full health, and, and uh, health, Lord. And we ask this, Lord, that you heal him, Lord, in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ, let him be healed. Um, another one with with high fever. Um, okay. Um, uh, Eric Massey has asked for prayers, Lord, because he's, uh, we, we hold him up to you, Lord, for his fever. May he be, may he be healed. Um, May he know your loving presence, Lord. Um, may he have the fever be, be risen from him, and that the fever be gone, and that he be able to know your loving presence, Lord, and be able to witness for you, Lord, that it is you that has healed him, to raise his fever out of him, Lord, and that he be healed and live again a healthy life in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ. Um, Father, um, Edwin Nayabuto has had um, uh, uh, damaged his hand. He's actually been hit by a car. Um, so we ask you, Lord, that you you heal him. Um, you heal his hands. You make his hands better. You knit those bones together, Father, that he's um, um, so he's able to continue to do the things that he does on in your behalf. So, Father, we hold um, Edwin up to you, Lord, for healing. In the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ, may he be healed. Um, um, <laughs> so, Father, we, we just hold him up to you, Lord, in the name of your son, Jesus Christ. Amen. So I'm just looking at the pictures that St. Henry sent me. Um, Jonathan Bander. I don't know if Jonathan was here earlier. I don't know if he's still there. Um, 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 he is sick in hospital. The father, again, uh, you know his particular illness. I'm not entirely sure what his illness is, but you do. Um, and Jonathan is a great servant of yours. We will be praying for his ministry later, Lord. So we know he is a great servant of yours. But we want his ministry to be able to continue. We want, to, we want him to be able to, to know your loving presence and be able to witness for you. So, Father, let him be healed of whatever it is that's, it, that ails him at the moment, whatever that takes him into hospital. Let him be made well, Lord, in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ. Let him be healed. 
and let this be a wonderful witness to you that he is healed in, in your mighty name and for your glory. So we hold Jonathan Vander up to you, Father, for, for uh, healing in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ. Um, Isaac and Deja, we um, is always very much online with us um, most weeks. Um, Isaac is our friend who has had bone marrow cancer and um, has had to have an amputation. Um, we just hold him up to you, Father, that um, that uh, he has, you know, the bone marrow cancer is gone and that um, he has no more um, effects from it. We do know, Father, that he's looking to have um, a prosthetic leg, um, that he will be able to, to walk properly and not rely on crutches. Um, so, Father, we just hold him up to you, Lord, for your comfort um, and, and help him to feel your presence, Lord, in his particular situation. So we hold Isaac up to you in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ. And I'm just seeing the um, pictures that So Hale has, has uh, given me. Um, someone someone he's um, uh, brought to our attention has been, I think by looks of it, bitten by a snake, but has got infections there. And the pictures look horrendous. But Father, this particular person that So Hale has, has brought to us, Lord, we, we, we hold up to you, Lord. We hold up to you for healing. Um, it reminds me of the story of, um, of Paul bitten by the snake, by the snake um, while he was looking for um, wood for, for fire, was that um, people had got shipwrecked um, on the island of Malta. Um, um, uh, on the island of Malta. So, um, Father, can we ask you, Lord, that... Um, you uh, we you hold this particular um, guy up to you, Lord, that's had, got the snake bites and has been bitten um, so that he will be able to be healed, Lord, in your mighty name. And um, our mighty name. Amen. Those are the prayers for healing. Did anybody want to um, pray for any of those Amen. that we have mentioned? Um, uh, prayers for healing. If anybody wants to, to mention those, please, or any other people that they know need healing, Please feel free to open your mic. Okay, and just to just to um, uh, reiterate, so Hale has, has mentioned that the man we just prayed for, the snake bite, is his name is Buta Masi. Um, so we pray for him. So we've prayed for him um, that he be healed. Um, um, so, yeah, please. Uh, and Georgia said that this is serious. May may God heal him instantly now. We do, we do indeed ask for that particular prayer. Uh, George, your mic is open. Did you want to pray? Yes, I want to pray for my brother whose leg is, uh, is paining. It's really painful, but we can't pray because like uh, at the book of Ezekiel 37, the valley of the dry bone, that can these bones live again? And uh, the angel of God touched the mouth of Ezekiel, and uh, the bones became back to life. So it doesn't matter the situation, God can heal. The Bible says in Isaiah 53, uh, 5 and 6, that by his stripes we are healed. So I want to declare healing upon his life. Amen. Amen. Thank Amen. you, George. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I speak your miracle, I speak your healing. You are the Lord of Lords, you are the King of Kings. Father, do it so that may you know that you are God. You have done great things, oh my Father. You are the healer, you are the doctor, oh my Father. You can heal this one, oh my Father. The Bible says that we shall step on the serpent and the cobra and we shall not be harmed. We shall take poison and we shall not die. I speak in the life of my brother, Father, perform a miracle. Doesn't matter the situation, my Father. When Lazarus died, Jesus came. And it was late, but when Jesus came, he touched, he touched the life of Lazarus, and Lazarus came back to life. That's the prayer that we are making today, that let his body come back to life. Any situation, any harm, any pain, Father, I come again, I can't see this report in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, do it so that we know that you are God. I give you glory, I give you honor, because you have done it, oh my Father. The Bible says that by faith, we are able to achieve the thing that we cannot achieve by vision, oh my God. Without faith, is supposed to to bless you and whoever come to you must believe that you are a warder of those, those who deal with you, you oh my father we seek you for my brother in the name of christ we pray and believe amen amen thank you george okay we come on to prayers for various people situations 
Um, so we, we, we continue with our prayers now. Um, the Father, first of all, Lord, I'd like to place up to you uh, our friend John Benson, who's given us our te teaching this morning. Uh, we know his situation with the passports um, for his wife and his children to be able to come back, to come to him in England. Um, they are currently in Uganda. Um, Father, we we know this prayer, this, we've been praying this for ages, Lord, but there is some progress. And we do pray for um, the, uh, you know, a great outcome of um, his, John's wife and children being able to, to be um, together as a family here in England. So, Father, we hold John up to you, Lord, particularly at the moment, Lord, where um, they are um, needing DNA tests to be done to prove their situation. Um, we pray, Lord, that um, this, I know they've got dates, Father, but we pray that this um, um, this happens um, easily and successfully and that there are no particular um, uh, difficulties with it, that uh, the powers of be do not put more obstacles in their way um, in the bureaucracy, we know uh, powers or the wheels of bureaucracy turn very slowly, Lord, and they turn extremely slowly in this particular case. Um, but we pray, Lord, that the DNA tests are the, the last obstacles in the way and that um, the passports that are needed can be, can be granted and that they can have, um, have a, uh, a party of uh, when they are united together, Lord. So we hold them up to you, Father, in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ. Um, Prakash in India, uh, his son is um, is taking his plus plus two um, plus two exams. Um, this one, say plus two exams, um, uh, entrance exams. I think that's what it means when he says plus two. I'm not sure what uh, what the situation is in in India, but he's anyway, he's taking the entrance exams. Um, his son's name is uh, Jaswant Pal. Um, he's taking his entrance exam, Lord. So we just pray, Lord, that um, uh, in taking his exams, that he, he sits them comfortably and in peace, knowing your peace, Lord, um, is, uh, is upon him in his uh, particular entrance exams. So we hold him up to you in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ. A friend of ours here in England, Nia, she has um, put forward a friend of hers or somebody she knows called Colling. Um, very um, stressful um, time for him. Um, he has lost a daughter to suicide, which is really hard to sort of contemplate what that must feel like. But he's also got a son who has taken an overdose of, uh, of drugs. And Father, you, we just hold Colin up to you, Lord, that in these particularly difficult times, um, in these particularly sad times for him, that he can feel your loving presence and that he knows you are by him um, in, in this particular time. So, Father, we hold him up to you in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ. Um, somebody else, Golfam Majid. Um, Golfam's still with us. Pastor Golfam was with us earlier and prayed. Um, uh, we heard earlier, uh, I've heard earlier that he's had two losses in his family this week. Uh, the loss of his father-in-law and uh, also the, the unexpected loss of his system, uh, Masrat. So, Father, we hold, uh, we'll hold the whole family up to you, Lord, in their loss, um, that they are able to, um, uh, to, in their grief, Lord, to know that you are there, that you are there comforting them, you are there placing your loving arms around them. So, Father, just be with them and comfort them in this particular time of loss. Um, may they know you, that you are there for them, Lord that uh, you, you love them and that you hold them dear. So, Father, we hold the uh, Gulf Arms family up to you in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ. Jason Moran in Canada um, had a lot of problems with, um, uh, with his wife and his family. Um, um, and he's had, been, he's had to um, suffer the, the um, uh, not being able to see his children. But he is finally again being able to see his children. And we just pray for him, Lord, as, as there are two court dates coming up, Lord, where um, he is hopefully through that being able to have be the primary carer for these children. Uh, the situation, Father, you know the situation. You know what's going on behind that. And it does seem as though there's um, with that whole situation that um, the enemy has been 
working um, behind the scenes, Lord, to to make life difficult for Jason, who is uh, who, who holds you up dearly and serves you dearly. <laughs> so we we pray for this uh, for Jason. We pray that these court dates um, uh, that are coming up, Lord, that there is some set, uh, successful outcome that your will be done. I um, mean, but ultimately, Jason would love to have primary care of, of these children. So if that is your will, Father. May your will be done in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ. Uh, another one who's got um, exams coming up, Jennifer. Um, Jennifer has got exams coming up. So, Father, we hold, hold hold Jennifer up to you in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ, that uh, she um, that Jennifer can sit these exams coming up and uh, have have success with them. That Jennifer can have um, a great future because the results of these exams are great, Lord. So we hold Jennifer up to you in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ. A friend of mine here in England, Stephen, is um, having to make, um, it was um, contemplating um, uh, something that he's held dearly for um, for some time, um, being a third order Franciscan monk, um, that it's, um, uh, he's contemplating that, is this the season that, um, um, that is coming to an end and that he moves on to doing other things for you, Father. Um, Stephen, is, Stephen is a great servant of yours and is just sort of contemplating this and, and needs your guidance and needs your wisdom in this particular situation as he decides whether to continue in the third order or whether he continue or continues to do your work in other ways. So, Father, just we hold Stephen up to you for, for guidance, Lord, as he, as, he, as he seeks to make that decision. So we hold him up to you in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ. Billy Duke just says he, life is hard and he has many issues. So, Father, we hold Billy up to you in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ, that he, um, um, that he, whatever his challenges are, Lord, he, he knows you are walking by his side to help him with these particular difficult times. So we hold, um, we hold Billy up to you in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ. And uh, one other prayer for the for situations at the moment, Ruth Schaff has just asked for um, the children in the slum areas that he, he knows of. They too are coming up to having exams. So we ask you, Lord, to be able to help these children to, to know your peace in these exams, but also to have successful outcomes so that they can raise themselves above the living conditions that they have, so that they can have a future and be able to pull themselves out of the um the the slums that they are they are living in lord so we hold these children up to you lord that their exams their exams can be um be great their results can be great and that they can have a a, a better future because of that lord so we hold them up to you in the mighty name of your son jesus christ we've got a couple of more categories coming up in the minutes for um for prayers but is anybody else want to pray over anything they've heard about so far Yeah, I just want to, um, uh, Father God, we thank you for this meeting again. We particularly pray for GoFan with this very difficult time of his life at the moment. Uh, we pray that you will hold him up and his family members as they go through this. And Lord, protect him because we know that um, he's been accused of blasphemy and all sorts of stuff. Because um, to speak the truth about Jesus Christ is blasphemy to every Muslim. Lord, we also pray about this man who's been bitten by the snake. Lord, we really pray that you'll touch him and heal him. And we really love to hear a testimony next week that uh, he is perfectly healed and much, much better and is out of any danger. Lord, we pray for my friend Phil and his wife, Beverly, and all the difficulties they have physically. Uh, with sickness, Lord, we just pray that you bless them and help them and guide them through this situation and heal them. And also all the other prayers that have been said, that have been brought to us, Lord God, we all say a great amen in the name of Jesus Christ and ask you to deal with all these situations. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thank you, John. Um, 
prayers for finances now because we know father that uh, many many people throughout the world are suffering um, difficulties with with lack of money and thus lack of food and lack of shelter so again father we hold these people up to you in the mighty name of your son jesus christ we start with a friend of ours um here in england alan um who struggles um financially um his rent is going up and he, his income doesn't um, he's looking unable to support that um his wife that does work but she's her income is is very low at the moment and she's looking for more work so, Father, we we pray for Alan and and his wife that um, uh, that they have the gr greater opportunities to to earn uh, income, and that they are able to meet their bills, um, so that that worry is sort of taken away from them. Um, so, Father, we do place Alan into your hands um, for your love and care. Again, a great servant of yours, spreading your word through many areas of the world. And Father, we, we thank you for his um, for his uh, servanthood to you. But Father, we just ask you, Lord, to, to help him with his finances in these particular difficult times. Uh, Nicodemus Andiecki, um, he's, again, he's building an orphanage and uh, I think he's got the land to build it on. Um, but in the meantime, the orphanage, the children he's looking for are in rented accommodation and um, they are being threatened to be evicted because of because of lack of payment uh, for the rent. But Father, we hold this situation up to you. We hold Nicodemus and the children up to you, Father, um, that this situation can be resolved, that they can get the the build the, get the finances to put the buildings up so that they have their their own permanent uh, orphanage, Lord. So Father, we hold them up to you, Lord, that this this particular um, uh, these particular children can have shelter. Um, education and food, Father. So we hold them up to you in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ. Azan, we prayed for him, I think, last week, but this is a disabled boy who needs wheelchair, needs wheelchair medicine and food. So, Father, we just pray, Lord, that uh, the resources are available um, for Azan to, ha to have the, the things that he needs to, to make his life as comfortable as possible. Being disabled is um, uh, not easy, and uh, whatever is it is, disability is we we honestly pray that he he can be healed from that particular disability but if it's your if, if it's um if, if it's uh what he needs to be comforted in the meantime the wheelchair the medicine and the food we ask you lord that those resources for those things are are made available to him in the mighty name of your son jesus christ william samuel um asking for himself and children um we ask you, Lord, that, um, that you give him the um, resources to, or the opportunities to be able to, to to gain the money to be able to feed his the, the children that he looks after and himself. So we hold um, William Samuel up to you, Lord, in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ. Michael Nayawandro, again, food for children. I mean, this will be, this is a kind of referring theme, really, that um, children need food and that people need to be um, uh, to be fed and nourished. So, Father, we ask again um, that um, that Michael has the resources to be able to feed the children, but also to nourish them, not just physically, but to uh, nourish them spiritually, which is always our, our prayer, Lord, as well. That whenever people are asking for for food to be, you know, to be nourished with food, they also be nourished with your word. So we just pray, Lord, that um, um, the, the resources are available for Michael to be able to feed them and to um, uh, feed them physically, but also feed them spiritually as well. Father, we hold up to you, Bishop Newton, um, asking for um, for land to build to build a church, uh, and also provisions for for his orphans. Again, Lord, somebody else who's doing great work for you, wanting to be able to um, show your love as well as preach your love um, to the various people. So we do ask you, Lord, that the resources are available to, you know, the land is available for him to be able to build the church that he so desires for, for his people, but also to be able to um, provide for the for the, the food that they desperately need as well, to be nourished, but also again, as we said before, nourished physically and spiritually, um, so they have the um, the wherewithal to be able to um, to look after these children's um, physical and spiritual needs. So we hold them up to you, Lord. The whole Bishop Newton and his work up to you, Lord, in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ. 
Um, Tanvir in Pakistan. Um, <laughs> he asked for 12 motorcycles and land for church and uh, land for church and school buildings. Um, uh, sometimes that seems a very specific request, Lord. And at the end of the day, we know that you have plans for Tanvir and um, and uh, the work you want him to do. Whatever it is that your plans uh, entail, Lord, may we ask, Lord, that you resource Tanvir to be able to do them. If indeed it is the motorcycles for his pastors to be able to go out into the villages, um, may that happen. But Lord, you know your will for him, your plans for him. So we just ask you, Lord, to be able to resource him with the things that he needs to be able to fulfill your plans for him. So we ask that in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ. Marshal Aguirre in Nigeria. Um, looks as though he's on the verge of having to drop out of university because he can't pay his school fees. So we hold him up to you in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ, that um, he can have the, find the resources to be able to <laughs> to be able to um, uh, continue his education. Education is, you know, is um, a great thing for people to be able to have to uh, have the, you know, have a good future um, to be able to help themselves and to help others. And so, Father, we just ask you, Lord, to help Marshall, Lord, to find the resources to be able to pay the, the university fees that he can continue his education. So we ask this in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ. Um, Kuboka Nayachoka, um, there's a woman that he knows of who's had a plant, um, blood transfusion, um, but needs to have the hospital bills paid. Um, so Father, again, we just pray, Lord, that those hospital bills are, are, are met and that she's able to be able to, um, um, be able to, um, have a good life, Lord, that she no longer needs any more blood transfusions and the hospital bills are met so she no, um, so she no longer has to return to hospital. So we hold that particular situation up to you that um, Kuboka has, has, has presented to us in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ. And Ongera um, is living on the streets. So, Father, we just pray for him that uh, um, that he can find proper, proper shelter, um, proper nourishment, and for spiritual nourishment as well, Father. So we hold on Gera up to you in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ. Okay, we that's prayers for situations. If anybody wants to pray for those particularly, feel free to open your mic. Okay, because we are now coming to the time. Uh, Isaac, your, your, prayer, your mic is open. Did you want to pray? Yes. I want to pray over that. Let's believe as we pray. Our Heavenly Father, Almighty God, we thank you for the gift of life. And we thank you for everything that you, do, you are doing to our life, Father. Father, you see all situations in this world, Father. May you put your rescues on this world and make us to understand your word so that we can follow your word and your rules, Father. Let us obey your word, make us obey, and make us to understand what you are taught by your hands, holy means you are sent to us to teach us, Father. Father, I pray for this ministry. May you continue growing it and to be much speak in this world to spread your word, Father. Father, I pray everyone of here in, in this group, may you bless him and be changed to the world, Father. Father, bless my brother Terry. You know how much things he, he has done. May you bless him, him and his family. I pray my brothers to those that are in. Okay. in need in you. May you make rescue on. I pray we live in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Isaac. We now come on to our prayers for, for the ministries. Um, so, Father, we hold these ministries up to you, Father, for your for your blessings and, and for their needs. Um, a lot of these probably can also come under the situation of the finances as well, Lord, because ministries, sort of, most if not all these ministries, uh, operate on a shoestring. Um, so, Father, we do hold these ministries up to you. But first of all, Father, um, Philip McGeer, Marara, 
uh, again, has orphans, has children that he looks after. Um, again, wonderful work that he does. Um, may you be able to bless him, Lord, that his his work um, continues. And again, that these children can be nourished both physically and spiritually, Lord, um, and that they come to know that uh, that you are looking after them, that you are walking with them in their you know in their time here, um, time uh, of difficulties. So we hold Philip Magia Morara's um, uh, work with the orphans up to you in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ. Mukaya, um, who's online with us this morning, um, we hold his work up to you. I had the privilege of um, having a Zoom meeting with him yesterday and seeing the, the children and the school that he's running um, at the moment. But uh, it, it needs resourcing, it needs finances, it needs, it needs help. And um, uh, there's a lot of children there that they are they are trying to help, to look after and to educate. Um, and they need finances. Um, I say this is one of those prayers that really could have come under the finances as well. But Father, we hold uh, Micaiah's, Micaiah's um, work up to you. Um, and we ask you to bless this, Lord. We ask you, Lord, to, to make this fruitful. But uh, we ask you, Lord, to, to bring people to walk, walk, work alongside them people who can help and perhaps with sponsorship and with, um, uh, you know, with the finances, particularly as their father, they are looking to um, to build new premises. Uh, at the moment, they're in temporary temporary structures. Um, they have some land, but they need to build on it and they need the finances to be able to um, to work on that. So this particular part of Uganda, Lord, that Mukaya is in, may they be blessed, Lord, with, uh, with the resources and the, the finances they need and the support and that they need. I mean, also, Father, because um, we I saw the teachers there yesterday, and these teachers need support as well. So, Father, we hold all this work of Micaiah up to you in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ. And may this be blessed, and may there be a great um, harvest of um, children coming to know you um, through his amazing work. So, Father, we hold, that, we hold Micaiah up to you, Lord, in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ. Bard Hanapu in um, in India, um, Bibles and Bicycle program that he's been um, uh, been operating out in India. He asked Lord that that be extended. So I, I see Lord that there's been some success with that Lord, but can that um, be extended and um, so that more people can come to know you, um, that more people can come to know your Word and know your Son Jesus Christ. And have that relationship with him. So again, like the prayer for Tanvir, Father, we ask that Bard Hanabu, Lord, has the resources to be able to perform your will. You know the things that uh, he needs to be able to uh, ex um, exercise your plans out in that particular part of India. So we hold them up, hold that up to you, Lord. Bard Hanabu also asks for peace, love, and unity for the people in India. As I say, Father, we know that India is a particularly difficult part of the world to be a Christian. So we do ask you, Lord, that um, um, there is unity of people, certainly the Christians in that particular part of the world, but also that the all all people can be united in love and peace, and that they can, um, that they many people can come to know you. And because <laughs> he also says that um, there are a lot of idol worshippers in India, and one of his his prayer also specifically is for them that they can be released from the evil spirits. Um, that draw them to the, the this idol worship, and um, we also know that um, um, uh, Diamani, I think, oh, no, it's, um, somebody else will, well, we'll be praying for in a minute is asking for the same thing um, that these idol worshippers in India can be released from these evil spirits. So we hold them up to you, Lord. We hold Bard Hanapu's work up to you, and all these um, particular requests that he's asked, Lord. May he know, may he, he see um, a great harvest being reaped, Lord, as he seeks to do your work in India. And Gold Farm, I'm not sure if Gold Farm's still with us, but um, um, uh, Gold Farm is with us uh, earlier. Um, just pray for it, pray for his ministry work as well. As John Benson has, has said, Gold Farm um, has had a horrendous time since September, having been arrested for uh, false uh, blasphemy accusations. Um, is, is releasing, is on bail now, and he's continuing to do his ministry work. So, Father, we hold Gold Farm up to you, Lord, that he is able to continue to do your work um, 
uh, su successfully, Lord, in that particular part of Pakistan. Again, an area where we know it's difficult to to do uh, to be Christian. But Father, we do hold um, hold God Farms' work up to you, His ministry up to you, in the mighty name of Your Son Jesus Christ. Diamani um, in India, uh, difficult times in ministry. Um, he's just asking for prayers for encouragement, encouragement for him, um, but also the people that he works with, the pastors that he works with. Um, may they be encouraged, Lord, to continue to do your work. May they feel your loving presence and your love, Lord, knowing then that you are able to um, help them to continue to do the work. And again, in that part of India, to be able to bring more people to come to you, know you, that there will be a harvest um, for, for those many people. So we ask this, Lord, in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ. Um, uh, Kelvin Kenyatta, um, again, I've seen some pictures. He's, um, he runs a clinic, uh, medical clinic. Um, and Father, we just ask you, Lord, to, to bless that work and to make that work fruitful and to be able to bring many more people to, to Christ through his clinic and through his uh, the health centre that he has there. Um, and many people come to him, uh, but he does his work. He is a great servant of yours, Lord, healing many people through his skills and his knowledge. Um, but we ask you, Lord, to, to help him with his ministry work and that the, the clinic can blossom and more people can know, come to know you th through his work, Lord. So we hold... Kelvin Kenyatta up to you in the name of your son, Jesus Christ. We are moving through these prayers for ministry quite swiftly now, because we are coming towards the end of our time. Um, Mihak uh, Gaffer, um, pray for the poor children he helps. So again, Father, children that um, somebody is looking after, uh, Mihak um, is looking after these children. So we ask you, Lord, that um, you... Uh, help um, help him to be able to nourish these people both physically and spiritually these these young children and that work continues to blossom and bring these children to come to know you so we ask that in the mighty name of your son jesus christ um nyagu mija uh, pray for, for the restart of, the, uh, of their schools I'm not sure whether it's his schools or the schools in his particular area but lord and um, we know that education as we said before is an important aspect of people's lives, helping them to be able to have a, a, a great and, um, and better future. So um, as these schools restart, Lord, um, may they know your blessings upon them um, and that the children can be blessed and be educated in um, in the academic world, but also educated in, in your word, Lord, so that they come to know you and be closer to you. Um, oh, it's pra Prakash. Um, that um, has asked for prayers for the idol worshippers in India as well. So, Father, again, through Prakash's work, Lord, he's come across these, these idol worshippers. But may these idol worshippers be um, um, be released from the, the evil spirits that, um, um, that these people, these people are, are under the influence of. May they be released from that, Lord. And may they be able to come to know you and that you are the one one true God, and that through your son, Jesus Christ, they can come to know you. So help them, these idol worshippers, to be released from the, the spirits of evil that um, that they know or they, they are under and that they can be released and set free from that, and that they can have uh, a, um, a great and better life knowing you, Lord, through your son, Jesus Christ. Um, so hail. Um, and um, uh, somebody else, I know, Patrick Booter, are both working with the brick kiln communities and the orphans in um, in Pakistan. So we hold them up to you, Lord, for their their amazing work with this brick kiln community, Lord, trying to help bring bring people out of debt, out of oppression. Um, these <coughs> these people long to know you, Lord, and um, many of them do know you because of the work of people like Sohail and Patrick Booter. So, Father, we continue ask you to continue their work in these particular areas, helping to, these people to come to know you so much better, Lord. So we ask this in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ. George, is praised. Um, George, <laughs> George, we just come unto you, coming unto your prayers now. I see you just put something up, uh, something up on the on the chat. But um, George, we are actually praying for you now for your ministry, um, um, for ministry expansion. 
and for the your this for schools to be established and for the orphans that you look after. Great work, Lord, and I thank you. Great work, George, and I thank you, Lord, uh, George, for your your prayers and your contributions this morning. But Lord, Lord we are hold his ministry up to you, Lord, um, that they be blessed, and that uh, George's ministry, um, uh, the schools that he wants to establish, the children that he looks after, may they be blessed, Lord. May he be able to be that worker in the field, bringing in the great harvest, Lord, and that uh, his um, the fruits of his work be blessed, Lord. So thank you, Lord, for George. Thank you for his contribution this morning. Thank you, Lord, for his ministry. May you continue to bless his work, bless his ministry, in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ. Um, somebody I know from England, Neil Stanton, is out in um, Uganda at the moment on a mission trip. Um, we are, we're hoping that he has an opportunity to um, to meet up with one or two of our um, our people, well, um, people here in um, uh, online this morning. Um, we're hoping he has the opportunity to meet up with them while he's there, but there's, there's no guarantee in it because I know his work schedule is tight. But Lord, we just ask you to bless Neil's work, um, his mission work in, in Uganda as he's out there at the moment, that he's able to preach your word to the many people out there and to be able to bring many more people closer to you. But he also pray for his work here in England as a, as a pastor and a, a minister here in England. That again, he he comes to um, he comes to bring many people to know you, Lord, and pastor and minister to those many people, and to 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 nourish them particularly with spiritually, Lord. So we hold Neil up to you in the mighty name of your Son Jesus Christ. And we're nearly at the end of our prayer time now. Um, just some more prayers for um, uh, for ministries, um, particularly as these particular prayers are. Um, uh, but these particular prayers are for um, uh, people who work, in, you know, with the media. Um, so Philip Waffler, who's normally with us, um, but not with us today, um, he works with the radio. As for Jonathan Bander, who's asking for prayers for uh, healing earlier. Um, so a good reason to be able to have him healed um, so that he can continue his radio ministry as well. So, Father, we hold um, both Philip Waffler and Jonathan Band up, up to you, Lord, as they do their, their radio ministries, that they are able to be able to bring many more people to come to know you because of their work on this particular platform. So may they, their, their work be successful. Um, Senior Mamanyi Jane in Kisi, Kenya, has, has got a TV station. Um, so may his work be blessed, um, that his work continues to bring many more people to come to know you. And... Um, we also have Derek Raybon in Texas, um, uh, in America. He's helping me particularly with um, with stuff at the moment, um, but he works on uh, with um, TV TV stations and things like that. So, Father, we ask you, Lord, to help Derek Raybon's um, ministry continue to work and blossom, and that many more people can come to know know Christ through him and his work. And finally, um, we hold up to you uh, our friend, dear friend Robert Kalule. Um, he um, operates or he runs and um, uh, expands both my website and, and John Benson's websites. Um, again, a great worker in um, in IT in Uganda. So we hold him up to you, Father, Lord, that his work continues. And we know his work is not just in IT, that he he's a preacher and he organises conferences as well. So he does a, 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 his life is completely dedicated to you, Lord, in doing your work. So may his work continue, Lord, in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ. Ah, Amen. Amen. Okay. That is Please, our, God. That, Wonderful that, meet. Okay. That is our prayers for that is our prayers for the for today. I say a whole lot of intercessory prayers. We thank you very much for your time, everybody, this morning. We hope you've been blessed Amen. by it. Um and Amen. As we, very good morning. God bless you, brother. God okay. Bless you. As we go forward. I mean, feel free now to open your mics and so that we can um, we can say goodbye to you. I mean, I, I, I know there's some things come up on chat now. Apologies if I've missed anything. Um, but please, um, um, please continue to send me your prayer requests because I pray for them personally as well as bringing them to prayer on, the, on this platform each week. So uh, uh, please feel free, you know, please feel free to open your mics now. I see Mukai, you've got your hand up. Thank you, David. Uh, thank you, Terry. Thank you, everybody. 
Okay. Okay. Anyway, Good brother, God bless you. God till, bless till you. next week. God bless everybody. God bless you. Thank you. God bless. God bless. God bless. Yes. God bless you, everybody.